Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, and this one is originally from Verizon here in the U.S., as you can see from the insignia on the back. And this is one that has been, uh, that does have the Google Account Lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to to sign in with the previous Google account that was on it. And that's basically what Google's Android, uh, Google's uh, Android lock consists of, also known as the FRP or factory reset protection. So basically back in Android 5, they added it as a security feature to help combat some of the theft and the fraud that happens a lot with mobile devices these days. So basically it means that when a factory reset is performed on an Android device without first removing the Google account that's on it, the device is then going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the reset has been completed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking for assistance with getting this type of lock removed from tons of different model devices, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember the login information Information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled and then after purchasing the device obviously they didn't know the login information and therefore could not get back in. So we're making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get this type of lock removed from the specific model device. It's actually something that we're doing right here, right now, while we have the device plugged in via the USB cable. So we should just need another minute or so for our program to finish running. And then we should be able to see that we can then restart the device and get all the way through the setup process without seeing that lock screen. While this is running, I should mention that this is something that we can do for just about anyone, anywhere in the world so you don't necessarily need to be here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you you would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and then we can remotely connect right through the internet to you and perform the exact same procedure while you have the tablet plugged in with the USB cable so our removal program here is just about finished we need to give it just another few seconds for it to finish up and then we should be able to see again that we can restart the device and get all the way through the setup process so hold on while I finish that up and you can go ahead and skip to the end of the video if you like since the program might take just another minute here to finish up we just like to display the entire process and show the before and after effects so that everyone does know that it is actually something that we are able to do, that there aren't any tricks being done here. You know, we're not logging in on the device with our own account or anything of that nature. Okay, so there we go. The program has now finished running and we should be go ahead, good to go ahead and unplug it now. You can see there, of course, the tab S4 insignia showing as it restarts there. And then the Verizon logo.
Okay, and now we are back to the setup page. So we're gonna go ahead and start going through the steps here one at a time. We're gonna turn that voice off because we don't need it. We are going to agree to the terms and conditions and then keep going. We don't need to activate it, so we're going to skip that. It's gonna to go to the Wi-Fi page, but we don't need Wi-Fi, so we can go ahead and turn that off actually, and then skip and keep going. That's gonna ask us about transferring data and we don't need to do that, so we can skip. And now this is normally where we would have gotten the Google account lock screen before, and we're not getting it this time. It's just asking us about setting up the date and time, so that is a very good sign. We're just going to keep going all the way to make sure that we can actually get all the way to the home screen, though. See, we don't need to set up email, so we're going to skip that. We don't need a Samsung account either. And there we go. We are all the way through the setup process. We're now at the home screen here. We have full access to all of the apps and features and settings, and it's just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So we indeed do have a Galaxy Tab S4, and then that model number there, the T837V, is what uniquely identifies it as a Verizon model. So if you have a Verizon Galaxy Tab S4 and need help getting the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the details there as well. Make sure to check out all of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy one day. Hitting the subscribe button while you're there will also ensure that you're notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.